Uh, hey everyone, welcome to our Dev4 CTI virtual tour. Uh, this project was built by some fellow graduate students. Uh, this project took about uh, two to three weeks to build. And a special thanks to uh, Logan Haggard, Muntaha Sishitil, Bipon Roy, Asir Zaki, Abiyali Bidani, Alana Say, Ben Lowther, and Samuel Walter Gabriel for their contribution to this project. As you can see, our school is fairly big. And let's not waste any time and uh, let's get straight to it. So here we've got uh, uh, our steps which lead to our front foyer. And if we walk through them, we will now be in the front foyer. And directly ahead of us we have our auditorium. This is where a lot of our assemblies will be taking place and all your students will have a chance to visit here once the school year begins. Our auditorium does have a balcony, so there is another floor which you can enter from. And yeah, let's move on forward a bit. This is our stage. This is what the auditorium looks like from the stage. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's uh, exit the auditorium and let's explore the B floor. Alright, if we head towards our left, uh, we have our principal's offices here. This is one of uh, three offices, I believe. And we have uh, Principal McKinnon here. Hello. Let's continue along. Now this is the main office. If you ever need any help with anything, you can always come by the main office and ask the administrators for help. Now let's continue along. Over here we've got the attendance office. This is where you'll be dropping off uh, your attendance before the start of every class. Next we've got our guidance office. If you do plan on uh, uh, dropping off volunteer hours, this is where you would drop them off. If you need any guidance on anything, you would come here and ask uh, for help. We've got a very supportive community, so don't be shy. Uh, I'll try to keep this tour short as our school is very big and I will n I'll try not to go through every room all right this is there are many classrooms through this hallway over here we've got our student council room if you do plan on uh, running for student council you'll have access for the, to this room where you can lounge out sometimes get work done and have little meetings continue along we've got some more classrooms some lockers. I'll show you this one room. This is our computer science classroom. We've got lots of computers uh, ready to run. A big projector so you can follow along with the lessons. And yeah. Uh, we'll explore this area when we come back around and let's keep uh, going down this hallway. We've got a staircase here that leads you up to our C floor and down to our A floor going. Uh, this is the math hallway. This is one of the many math hallways, sorry, math classrooms. I believe uh, Ms. Zeke uh, teaches in this classroom, and I'm sure many of you will meet her uh, following year. Oh, sorry, current year. Let's continue along. Got some more classrooms here. They all look relatively the same. Oh, and just a heads up, uh, the download for this map will be available in the description. 
And if you have Minecraft yourself, you can feel free to explore it and uh, look around. Uh, this will work with uh, the official Minecraft. If you don't have that, you can find a cracked Minecraft uh, somewhere online. Many classrooms, nothing too exciting around here. Just a lot of classrooms. A little freight elevator. Over here we have a side entrance into the auditorium and a little lounging room where you can sit around. And in the morning, uh, our breakfast uh, club is stationed here. So if you come early to class, you can pick up a quick snack before you start the day. Uh, why don't we check out the music hallway? So the music hallway is just slightly left of the main foyer, the front foyer. And going through, you have access to another entrance to our auditorium. We've got our drama room. We've got a beautiful stage, lots of seats. And we've got a little costume room back here. If any of you are planning on taking in drama. If we move along. Uh, next, we're met by the music room. If any of you plan on taking music, this is where it'll be. We've got a beautiful piano here, and our instruments are usually uh, stored in one of these cabinets or on these shelves over here. Yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah, we've got, uh, and then over here, we've got just uh, a lot more classrooms. Uh, why don't we check out uh, the seafloor now? So, Danforth has uh, three floors, three main floors the A floor being at the very bottom, the B floor, which we're currently on, and the C floor, all the way on top. And then we've also got an XY floor, which is considered our basement, where you can find our south shim and other rooms. So let's head on upstairs. Alright, so this is the C floor. Uh, throughout the year, we have lots of events going on, and one of them is uh, Mole Day, which is run by our chemistry students. And uh, around this time of the year, there will be lots of games going around where you can win prizes, uh, chocolate, candy, and it's lots of fun. If you go down this hallway, we have lots of classrooms, and one of them being our chemistry classroom. Chemistry, you do lots of fun projects. Yeah. Let's uh, say hello. Lots of lockers, more classrooms, lots and lots of classrooms. We've got another uh, staircase over here, which leads you down. This is one of our history classrooms. We've got a projector, lots of desks. Yeah. Let's hurry along. We've got uh, more classrooms on our left here. Some lockers on our right. One is on our left. We've got the washrooms uh, over here on the seafloor. staircase down there. Why don't we check out uh, the library? Uh, we've got a little bridge here. And we've got some windows we can see outside. Over there you can see uh, a bit of our field and our parking lots. And more of our parking lots on this side as well. Now we're here near the art hallway, so where you'll find uh, paintings, ceramics, film photography, etc. A lot of our artwork is displayed on these panels over here. If you take art, you will have the option of uh, displaying your art in these 
glass uh, casings. Alright, and then now let's explore our uh, library. So we're first we're, uh, greeted by our front desk. On our left we have a little lounge area. Lots of books, a couple computers on our left. If you go to the right, we've got more computers and more little uh, study areas. Lots of books, got a projector. If you do plan on taking a spare in later years, uh, the library is the perfect place to study and prepare for your upcoming classes. There are lots of rooms which you can uh, explore once you decide to explore the map. So I'll choose not to explore every single one. But yeah, that is most of the C floor. Uh, now let's head on down to the A floor. All right, here we are. On our left, we've got some uh, greenwood uh, lockers. And a lot of our greenwood classrooms are also over here on the left, on the A floor. If you move on down this way. A little neat hallway over there. If any of you are planning on taking cooking, it's uh, in one of these classrooms here. I believe it's this one, if I'm not... Yes. This is one of our cooking classrooms. I believe first year you uh, have to take uh, three of uh, our courses, uh, which are cooking, construction, and digital photography. So this is where our cooking classroom will be taking place. Right, let's head on out. Uh, let's check out our construction classroom. Our, our school is very big, so you might find yourself getting lost here and there, but there will be a map in your agenda and it'll help you guide you to your classroom. So here we are in our the cooking, uh, sorry, our uh, construction uh, classroom. We've got a couple of lighter saws. Uh, tools are stored in these cabinets here. Projects are usually stored here, wood, etc. Alright, let's head on along. If we head on this way, we can find the cafeteria. We'll take a quick left. Here we have some doors that will lead you outside. Check that out later, but this is the entrance to our cafeteria. Uh, Danforth does have meals, uh, so you can uh, buy food. Here you can buy uh, food that are available at lunch. It's quite nice. So if you ever do not have lunch, feel free to come down by. This is our cafeteria. It is very long and there are lots of uh, places for you to eat. If you ever need a drink, we've got a small vending machine over here. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we do have events going around here. Uh, for example, um, our, our science fair. have our project displayed sometimes and all of the parents are invited to visit. And there is a big ceremony and we announce all the winners from all the contests here. Alright, uh, why don't we head on outside and I can give you a tour of our field. To the field now. So we've got a little parking lot on our left and on our right we have the entrance to our very very big field. Mm -hmm. 
when it's warm, you will be allowed to come out here uh, during phys ed classes. And throughout the year, we do have sports and clubs going on, such as track and field, soccer, cross country, etc. And this field is perfect for a good run and a good game. Alright, why don't we check out uh, the back of the school? Looks like I'm doing a little bit of running myself. <laughs> got a little parking lot over here. Uh, we just left here this as a joke. This is a, a large trebuchet. Uh, later throughout the year, uh, engineering students will be having a trebuchet contest where they sling uh, water balloons at teachers. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's a lot of fun. If I head back here, we've got the teacher's parking lot. And yeah. Why don't we check out the gym? So if you do take phys ed, uh, you will be visiting the gym a lot. This is our North Gymnasium. Currently we have a volleyball net set up. We've got uh, six basketball hoops. Very large court. We've got uh, bleachers on our left. Lots of places for you to sit if you plan on visiting to view our games. And yeah. So yeah, that's about it for the uh, the tour. I'm just going to find myself out. Real quick. And I'll just fly up and I'll show you guys a top view of the school. As you can see, our school is very, very big. Like I said, feel free to download uh, the map in the description and explore for yourself. And yeah, I hope all you guys have a great time in the upcoming year, and that's it for me. Have a good one, everyone.